Oh, powder everywhere. Uh, oops. Hello, friends. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever because I am the, I don't want to say the worst. I'm just the most inconsistent YouTuber. I appreciate you guys being patient and just watching the videos as they come and sticking around. There will come a time, I feel it in my heart of hearts, when I can commit and do more. I just appreciate that you guys are here and you're willing to deal with my crap. <laughs> so today, what we're going to do is talk about how to get flawless skin skin, have it be a lightweight formula, foundation, powder. Yes, you heard me. I am using a liquid foundation today and that I love. If you follow me, you know that like that's an issue for me. So we're going to get into that. But before we do, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go and definitely turn on the bell notification with all notifications on because I upload like once a month these days. Sorry. All right, so my eyes and my brows are done. If you are interested in seeing how I do my brows, I'll go ahead and link a tutorial up here so you can see how I do those. It just saves time to do them off camera because it's the same thing every single time you film a video. Now let's jump into the purposes of this tutorial. And the first step that we are going to do is pick up our primer. And this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and I am obsessed with this. This is in the shade One Fair. Definitely a little bit pricey. I tried to kind of mix up my collection. I have a generous mix of both drugstore type priced items as well as high end and this is something that I would splurge on. I'm trying to remember I did splurge on there. Let me see the price on it for you guys. Yeah, it's $44 people so I know that's a little bit hard to stomach, but it's so good and it lasts forever. And I've seen a lot of people use it as a highlight after the fact, like a... Two thousand years later. Super subtle highlight, but I like using it this way. This is how I like it and this is how I use it, so. Hopefully you like it this way too. And then I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and my Beauty Sponge. This is the Lemon Drop by Mikasa Beauty. And then work it in. I just really like mainly focused on these areas. There are so many thoughts and opinions regarding primers. Are they necessary? Aren't they? I go back and forth. I think with this foundation I'm about to show you, I don't necessarily always use a primer all over. I just kind of used this flawless filter on the high points and then just kind of blend it around. I just think it looks so pretty with this. Do, 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 do. The Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. And this is in the shade one. When I first picked this up, it was like back in, I wanna say November or December that I discovered it and I was just kind of hesitant to come on here and talk about it in any great length because the shade range was pretty crappy. It's still not like Fenty, but they have added some shades, so that's pretty cool. What I do like and what you will see with this foundation, I have such a hard time with liquid. A, I don't like the way it feels. B, I don't like the way it looks over my freckles. Like, I'm not trying to cover up my freckles, but somehow this foundation, it blurs texture issues. So, like, that's why I don't feel like primer is necessary because it has a blurring effect. And it also, with it being a lightweight formula, it does pack a nice amount of coverage to it. So that's what I love about it. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the back of my hand. And I am going to use my Luxie Duo Fiber Brush. It's the 516 powder brush, but I'm going to use it for my foundation. I know, I'm just going crazy today. So you'll notice first I'm gonna go in and apply like a light layer with the brush. And then I'm gonna go in and kind of press it in with the beauty sponge. And I feel like this little method 
is what gives me the most flawless, natural looking coverage and application. And I'm gonna try and do just like this half of my face so you can see the difference before I go to the other side. And it layers, so like as you can see, if I want to get it a little bit heavier, I don't know if that's the right word, but more full coverage. I mean, I'm, there's no way I would call this a full coverage foundation by any stretch of the imagination, but you can layer it very seamlessly. And then with my lemon drop, I'm just going to push it in. What I love about the finish is it's so natural looking. Here you can just see every little bit of redness and here I haven't concealed or done anything yet, but it is just so much more seamless and I don't feel like I'm wearing anything. And I'm gonna go in with just, like I've kind of given Shape Tape, uh, I don't know, like a bad review. I don't know if I've ever said it on camera, but I've gone back and forth with my feelings on it just because it is such a heavy weight formula. I do like it, you just have to be real careful with how much you use. Just like these three, wherever you want that coverage. And then of course, oops, I almost forgot my freckle here the one freckle I do cover just because when I don't, people are always like, oh, you've got schmutz or dirt on your nose. And I'm like, no, it's a freckle. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and use a concealer brush. This one doesn't have a name. It is from like a Morphe set I got years ago and I freaking love it. I'm just going to blend that where I need it. And then quickly just take my sponge and push it in. This is what I find, especially in the summertime when I want the least amount of product on my face. I'm here in Tampa, Florida. It is so humid and hot. I don't want a lot of weight on my face. I don't wanna feel like I'm gonna start sweating and you're gonna see dripping makeup down my face. Like that's just not a cute look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my ColourPop translucent setting powder. I'm gonna use this big brush from the Luxie set that just came in this most recent month's April's BoxyCharm, and this is the 512 small, it's the small contouring brush, but I feel like it's gonna fit really nicely under my eye. I know, just me using all these brushes for such crazy things. But yeah, see? That just kind of gets in there. And I don't bake, I just use it where I need it, very lightly. And now I'm gonna just blend in this freckle. Try not to touch where the freckle is so much, just blend around it. And if you have a blemish, it's kind of the same technique. Just be super light as far as when you tap it. And then I'm gonna go in with my Pure, you know I have to use my Pure 4-in-1 press powder, but I am gonna just go over that freckle a bit. I just love this powder so stinking much. I just love going in with this powder over just anything that is poking through redness with a small brush. I love this like dome brush. I use it all the time, especially for this freckle area. This is the Morphe E18. Now I'm gonna go into this big fat Moda brush and I don't know if it has a name, but I'm gonna link everything that I'm using down below in the description box. So feel free to check those out. And I'm just getting it into the powder and I'm pushing it in my skin. Now Pure sells the chisel brush, which I like. And when I'm just using this and I'm not using a liquid foundation underneath, that's what I like to use. But I like a brush more like this that's not as dense. I mean, this is a pretty dense brush, but the hairs are longer. So when you're applying the product, it doesn't lay down as much, like it's a lighter coverage, which is what we're going for here. Let me just go down the neck and you can see it. I'm pushing it in. And so that right there is the base. I am going to show you how I contour, highlight. I have been a big fan of the Hourglass Ambient Powder under the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I typically use my Morphe E2 brush to go under there, but I think I'm going to try this, where's that con this contour brush again? 
and see how that works, right? Under the eye, that reflectiveness just kind of helps with any dark circles. That's right there. This is something, I don't even know if you're able to see it on camera. Jacqueline Hill talked about it forever and I'm like, she's such a bougie bitch. But it, I finally gave in and tried it and I noticed such a difference. Now, as you guys know, I love my Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 3. I did a review on this. If you want to go see a dedicated video all about this, I'll go ahead and put that right up here. You can click the I and check that out. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. This is the 660. I mean, I just, I use brushes how I want to use brushes. Okay and tap off the excess and I'm just gonna go in right there and just bring it up to the perimeters of my skin. If I need to add a little bit, I always start at like the contour and then blend from there. Cause you always want it to be darkest in the spot right here. And I'm gonna grab, and this was the medium shade by the way. Hello Allison, haven't done YouTube in a while so taken me a minute to get back into it. And then I'm doing my jawline. This sculpting powder though is the fastest and quickest and most foolproof way to contour, 100%. I think medium is the shade I go to the most, but I use this palette and I'm wondering if I should do like a video on it where I just literally use this palette for everything eyeshadow. It's just, I absolutely adore this palette. When I do a nose contour, which I have been doing because it takes two seconds, I use the light shade in the palette. And this is the Morphe E22. And I just go right here like this to the brow. And then with what's left on the brush, I go under the nose and then go in for a little bit more. And same thing on this side. brow, even it out, then take a little bit of my powder, my ColourPop translucent powder that I use to set my eyes and I just squeeze the brush and I just go straight down the center to be very subtle. And again, right on the side of where I contoured, I'm using the ColourPop powder again and then on this side. Now I'm going to go in with a big powder brush. I can't help it, they don't make the Smashbox brush anymore, but a big powder brush. And I go into the bronzer. This is their Venice bronzer. And I just kind of get the cheeks and up, basically just softening out the contour, bringing warmth back in to my face. And then I'm going to bring it down my neck. For blush, I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics. This is the 10 color nude blush palette. This is so good. I mean, I think it's usually like $9.99, but like they always have sales. I think I got mine for like $6 years ago. Still have it, still love it. And I'm going to use a combination of these two shades right here. And then I just kind of start with the apples of my cheeks and I put the brush like into each color and then on my face. I have never tried Artist Couture. Let's see, what shade is this? Pure, no, Purple Dream? Right, is that right? Purple Dream, is this gonna be purple? Oh, interesting, the sifter. It's like a twist sifter. I don't wanna break it. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. It's like a champagne to purple shift. It's really pretty. I'm gonna try this Moda brush first just because I feel like this might be really intense and this brush I feel like always gives me less payoff. So let's just, wow. That's really pretty. And I bet you can make that really intense, but oh, I think that's enough. That's so pretty. What really like does have like a purple, I don't know if it's going to show 
on camera because I don't think it is in the monitor but it does it has like an interesting like like it has a purple shift and I have a lot of like duochrome uh, highlighters and this one is like really interesting it's different this is my Morphe E36 and I'm going to just take a little bit of that and go straight down it's not as intense as I thought it would be. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's probably because I'm just putting so little on my brush because I'm like afraid. I'm gonna take this same brush and that same artist couture powder and I'm going to do my inner highlight with that. You'll notice I still need to do my lower lash line, so don't you worry, friends haven't forgotten and I'm back you know what this is if you follow Jacqueline Hill I had to pick this up I ended up buying this and like the facial shavers I haven't tried the facial shavers yet but it's on my to-do list so I just ended up using my NYX wonder pencil I think it's in the shade light yeah it's the shade light it's super cheap and I use that in the waterline finish off the mascara set my face and this is the final look again I will list all products that I discussed in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching this video I do hope you found it helpful if you did please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and if you are not subscribed i hope you will consider subscribing before you go and also because i upload so infrequently you might want to hit that notification bell with all notifications on so you don't miss <laughs> any of my uploads whatever that may be i do hope i will catch you in the next video thanks guys bye